Long before humanity colonizes Mars, our children will live in floating nations on the sea. Calcium carbonate will be harvested directly from seawater, creating seashell cities grown organically using 3D printed bio rock. The aquatic generation will live in upside down skyscrapers, sea scrapers, where tremendous weight will hang deep below the sea, securing such stability that neighborhoods will be raised on pillars high above the waves. Simply by reaching a depth of a thousand meters, sea scrapers will produce a superabundance of electricity through the magic of ocean thermal energy conversion, a proven green technology that uses the ocean as a solar panel. At 500 meters, a rich concentration of nutrients is suspended in seawater where sunlight can't reach. Sea scrapers will draw this elixir to the surface to spark a riot of photosynthesis. Ocean gardens will sprout in a fountain of life. Vast seaweed farms will absorb megatons of carbonic acid, reducing ocean acidity to feed the world with environmentally restorative food. The first to seek jobs on ocean farms will be the poorest billion on Earth. They will come to the blue frontier because floating societies will require refugees to survive economically. Imagine if Venice were a floating jigsaw puzzle where each island could be piloted independently. Mobile land will empower individuals to exit poorly governed societies and choose better ones. Each floating homestead will be a nano nation, a seastead. Humanity is emerging from our land-based slumber and awakening to the seastead century. Seasteading will restore the environment, enrich the poor, and liberate humanity from politicians. The seas cannot support a state, but fluid interaction will incentivize civil society. More than two-thirds of the Earth's surface waits to be discovered. Then, Homo aquaticus will explore the depths beneath. Oceans first, the stars next.